Hi there, in this video I'm just going to show you just a couple things to watch out for. This is probably one of the easiest scales to replace, uh, so it's probably not necessary to send this one in to me unless you, you want to and you don't have one of these tools, but they're pretty easy to get. You take off these three first, and then you switch down to the T8 size, and uh, you could open it up makes it kind of easier sometimes or maybe just partially and then apply pressure here and keep holding pressure because that frame lock's going to want to push up on there so this just makes it easy and then transfer the pressure over to the uh, where the pivot is slide it back a little bit and then put your pressure right there take that off put the new scale on this one is made from cherry Okay. So you tighten that and you just tighten it until the blade rides in the middle. Now, the one pointer I wanted to make was when you put these in, just be careful that you're not cross threading them. Sometimes it could throw you off because the hand scale does go a bit on an angle there. And don't tighten them until you got them all in. Windy day today. But I like the sunlight really comes up the detail in the videos. Okay, before you tighten it, and this is the same for the G10 scale. It does move back to here, so you might think that the scale's a little bit fat on the one side and skinny on the other, which I try to make them just a hair large. Uh, so just kind of make sure that's centered, and then you can go ahead and tighten them all. And that's probably one of the simplest knives I've done. Replacing scale anyway. 